There's one question customers have when they walk into Lang's Bar on Southport. They ask about the mask. We take the mask off. Yeah, you spread out enough, not a problem. But the city of Chicago says during a second surge of coronavirus, it's now a big problem. The naturally sort of fun, loud environment of bars is one of the reasons why we've seen them be um, an even higher risk factor than restaurants. That's why starting first thing tomorrow morning, bars like Lang's that don't serve food can't serve alcohol indoors. Lang's doesn't have outdoor seating either. Well, I have to sell them to go. That's the only thing I can do. Can't have, can't have people in the bar. But employee Phil Jackham says even that is unlikely. We'll probably close down. Other restrictions going into place? A 10 o'clock curfew for all other bars and restaurants and a 9 o'clock last call for liquor. We kind of feel like we've been adjusting almost to the, like, to the dot daily. Um, it's been a lot. We're always just kind of rolling with the changes. They're always coming at us, it seems. Uh, but I think we're handling it pretty well. We've gotten pretty used to just kind of on the ball. Uh, last minute kind of situations. At Corridor Brewery and Provisions, the strategy has been to stay ahead of the restrictions and anticipate what's next. So this latest round only moves up their last call for liquor by a half an hour. It's very difficult because, uh, you know, everyone's safety is in question, um, but we are a business and we, we all need our incomes. So it's been uh, a constant juggle to find that sweet spot if there even is one at this point. The restrictions are set to remain in place for two weeks, a silver lining for Langs. Is it going to be two weeks? Oh, it's not too bad. It's better than three months. Another reason for the heavier restrictions on bars, the city says people are more likely to gather there with friends instead of family, and the city's asking people to limit their personal bubbles to six people.